Hi, it's me and my gigantic book of ideas. Where did I put it? Oh, I remember. I cleaned up a little. Look, nothing is falling down. I cleaned up 180 pieces. And I'm not done. A long time not done. But at least nothing is falling down anymore. <laughs> okay, okay. Gigantic book of ideas put aside. Somebody asked me a long time ago. I believe I have it in my first um, volume. And I think it's actually self-explanatory. I don't know. Let me see if I do have it somewhere here. Real quick. Maybe I should have checked before I started. But hey, you know me. I don't do that. <clears throat> However, I put it in somewhere and somebody asked me. It's been a while. And I said I will make a video. And then I didn't. And, you know, I just realized that just a little while ago I realized hmm, maybe I should I don't even have it in here maybe I didn't even put it into my this keeps sticking I don't know why huh interesting why don't I have it anywhere here did I I don't know I don't know what I did with that but it doesn't seem to be in here because I don't have any you know it's so cool to just look through it once in a while maybe I just don't see it and it's right in my face just like I don't see many many things there's nothing in here right no nope. no nope. so we can make it and put it into the book of ideas that's fine too is there anything in the big pocket nope <laughs> where is it it doesn't seem to be here I remember I stuck it with a paper clip on the side of something maybe somewhere else but yeah let's just make one let me close this up it's gonna be quick uh, why did I say that don't ever say something's gonna be quick because we all know how this ends up okay let me put this away and then I ordered from Ali long time ago pictures like these and then I have one already done so I'm not gonna do it but find two that you know you can stick together and it's like the same size any picture will do it just has to be kind of the same size and it has to fit in here those are the two things that you need I'm going to distract mine a little maybe I should have cut it straight first but I didn't so I'm good now next step is optional as well you can just use it as a picture or you find yourself a baggie and some here from the store that i'm not gonna talk about and why am i cutting it here i don't know i don't need to cut it here but what am i doing quick tell me what i'm doing i need a hole i cut it wrong and now I let get it straight. Okay. You can take acetate as well. But why not use a bag if you got a bag, right? And then you just slide it in and you go ahead and you sew around it. So I'm just going to keep it this way and then sew and then I will cut off. So I'll back. Okay, all done. And I don't know, did I ever show you? Like I finished whenever we done the collage, I cut it apart and then I made these cards. I've just sewn around them and they all look so pretty. So I took one card, I took a die, I cut out this part. This can be a card now, you know, making more stuff. <laughs> okay, I've sewn around it. Now I'm going to cut around the sewing, not too close, not too far. Not too far, not too close. Okay. Just cut, 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 cut. Okay, that's what you get. And this baggie you can use for something else. Right? Okay. I'm also going to, I think. Let me grab I'm going to distress the frame a little bit. Yeah, especially because in the back I left it as is. I didn't collage in it or anything, so I'm going to distress the back completely. 
I wonder where the card is. I know I have it somewhere. I could show you, but it doesn't seem to be here. I was pretty sure it was in my very first volume, but it wasn't. For some reason, I'm very light had it. Very light had it. Oof. Why are you like this? Because I didn't straighten you. I just took the fact that I just you. Let me straighten this a little bit because this is gonna annoy me. It's better now, hopefully. Okay, I have this. I have this. Now, I need something to hold it. So, whatever you have, stamp it, write it, fussy cut it. I don't know what you got, okay? But we, we will need something to hold it, and it's supposed to be kind of the same size. Let me see, what do I have? Okay, I have two of these. Oh, oh, go back in, go back in, go back in. I can hold it here, definitely. Yeah, I can do it this way. And then, or I do it this way. Yeah, and then on top here, because there's thread, I'm just gonna find something else. I have those two, 30 cent things, I don't know. They're too big. If I put it here, like that, and then I put 30 cents right on top. I think we will be good. Okay. I'm gonna start by distressing this. 30 cent. And one seems to be paper, and one seems to be cardstock, but that's all right. It should be good. Okay, I'm, I don't need, wait. Let me put the two labels together. I'm gonna keep the top together and then from the bottom I'm gonna cut and just try to make them somewhat same okay somewhat okay and now I'm gonna look at this and this should be somewhat same as well yep it is all right so I'm going to glue the top first. Put glue all over. I'm almost prepared for this one because I know what I'm doing. <laughs> because I have done this before. Now it glues onto the paper, but that's fine. I'm gonna flip it, try to not to put it into the glue there. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the second 30 cent. And I'm gonna glue it right on top of the first one. Droop, droop. It's not quite the same size, so you can see a little bit too. Ah, it's fine. Basically almost nothing, okay? And then I will do the same thing. I don't know like this now. <clears throat> I will do the same thing right here. I'll distress. And I'm going to distress from the back as well, just in case it's not cut perfectly, so there is no white peeking through. You can use a different, like, something that says something different in the back. It just has to be the same shape. In the same size basically so I'm gonna put this one here and it's gonna glue on my thing again which is fine this one right here and then I'm gonna flip it and then I'm gonna put this one right on top Oh, 
I'll bring it up to my eyes be able to see better but right on top and all I have is just a little piece of the plastic in there okay and it's basically done it's your floating thing you leave it to dry I'm gonna test this because it's full of blue and I didn't like it mm, what else do I have I have numbers here so let's I guess let's decorate just a little bit just have the two numbers 858 so where do I put what I also have what else do I have something small 34 I don't know maybe I don't put anything on this side or this side I think I'm just gonna put the numbers on here on this And do I just leave them all together? No, I like to do two. I don't know. I prefer two. Okay, this one is very short. So it's going to be here. That's enough. Okay, let me hold this and see if it's the right way up. No, it's not. I'm going to put glue on this one and then I'm going to stick my thread right here and stick my 8 on top. Okay, 858. That was good. Yep, this one is 858. I might just cut off the sides because I feel like it's a little too much Oop. and Oop. okay 858 and then what do we hang on the on the longer one what do we have what do I have I don't know let me see I have like a little thing here oh, should, should we do our wax seal <laughs> this way it will be gone and they are kind of the same side size i just don't know if it would hold with the glue who knows that let me know because i don't know but we will see i guess okay i guess we will find out if it will hold on or not i don't want to push too hard And this will need to dry if it holds at all it will need to dry I'm gonna bring it up to my eyes because I'm trying to line up the hearts and the thread at the same time okay we'll see if it will hold but it will need to dry because now it just moves around but yes there is that that's the cart that is like you know floating floating butterfly one side another side and then that's optional but you just need something to hold it in the middle and that's it all done didn't even make much mess look at that <laughs> yeah i hope you enjoyed it i'm sorry it took me so long to show it really it's it's been a while since i was asked i don't even remember who asked i just remember that somebody asked if i have a tutorial on that and i said no i might do one soon <laughs> Maybe it was a year ago. Maybe it was two months ago. I don't even know. Okay. There. Pretty. So, I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you're all healthy and happy. And crafting and enjoying your day. And I see you soon. Bye-bye.